here because you get such a breadth of pharmacists from so many different fields. It's great to kind of see what opportunities are out there and kind of liaise with other pharmacists on things like formulation, pharmaceutics, look at the governance side of things, procurement, areas that you might not see there today in your normal roles. So it's great to see lots of people from hospital, industry, community. It really is a congress for anyone who's in pharmacy. This show is really important because it's the first event that we look for on the calendar now. Um, so we've increased our space this year and we've invested more to increase our presence just because of the quality of customers that come here and the dialogue that we can have with them uh, and engage with them at a really good level. This being the largest gathering of clinical pharmacy professionals in the UK, it's so beneficial for the exhibitors to be here, to meet those people who are at the front line looking after the patients and public, delivering clinical pharmacy services. And what a unique opportunity that probably isn't available anywhere else in the UK with a particular focus on clinical pharmacy. This event is really important to the industry because it's the only opportunity you have to get all of the different diverse facets of the profession together in one place. This is our fourth year at the Congress now and we've noticed that it's getting bigger and bigger and the footfall this year is certainly up on last year. A show of this magnitude is ideal for our business because of the absolute wide range of delegates that are attending. Um, but also it's very difficult for us to see all of our customers face to face in one go. Um, and essentially we get the opportunity over two days to do that. The Clinical Pharmacy Congress is really important to us. Recently we bought a automated uh, robotic dispensing system. So this is the biggest time we've had this stand and I've never known it so busy. So when you can actually show somebody the solution that you're selling them, it paints a better picture than an email or words or a PowerPoint presentation can do. So if you've been talking about the benefits of automating their ward department or their pharmacy department, if you can actually show them how that would work and how you can interact with it and let them have a go on it, it has a much more, more powerful and positive impact upon them. I don't know of any other event that has everything all on one, one site together so in between your lectures you get a chance to wander around and just catch up with lots and lots of stuff so I'll be going back with loads of really great ideas so that's good. Good morning everybody, it's a pleasure to be here at the Clinical Pharmacy Congress. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, but now maybe we should be thinking about 10 or more medicines. The audience uh, was fantastic actually. It was uh, great to be in a situation where the auditorium is completely packed. I think that shows what interest there is in this particular area. We also have a direct input here. Attendance at the lectures at the Clinical Pharmacy Congress has been absolutely excellent. As I've, I've moved around in the keynote lecture theatres and also the, the policy forum that's actually in the middle of the conference. And there's been really good attendance and it seems that it's been all levels of pharmacy as well. I think it's absolutely vital that we have that forum for exchanging ideas, learning from each other, sharing best practice and, and this really brings people from the whole spectrum of pharmacy together and allows them to do that and this is the show that really covers the whole spectrum of, of hospital pharmacy. Really good opportunity to network and bring examples of projects that people are doing um, in their own trust. Um, and one of our pharmacists has exhibited a poster today as well. So that's a really important part of the occasion, I think. I think for those that are thinking of attending, there's not many opportunities during the year to actually come and find this much clinical content in one place. Not just that, but you've also got alongside it, you've got policy makers and decision makers that can tell you the top level information of what the current state of affairs are within the pharmacy profession.